Brian Stelter is butthurt that people are being mean to CNN. Boo hoo! He's whining about Infowars promoting hate and resentment towards CNN. Millions of people are exposed to extreme anti journalism views daily. Example. Memes equating journalists to terrorists. This is harmful. You want to talk about harmful? And all you've got is memes? I'll tell you what's harmful. Your network pushed a fake news narrative, Trump-Russia collusion, that your own producer admits was made up for ratings. Our ratings are incredible right now. You think the whole Russia shit is just like bullshit. I mean, it's mostly bullshit right now. That your own top contributor admits is a big nothing burger. The Russian thing is just a big nothing burger. A narrative that pushed two superpowers closer to World War Three. That's harmful. Your network pushed a fake news narrative. Hands up, don't shoot. We want you to know that our hearts are out there marching with them. That led to two mass shootings, riots, and a nationwide hate movement. That's harmful. Your network pushed a fake news narrative. Iraq having weapons of mass destruction that led to one million dead Iraqis and thousands of dead and maimed US troops. That's harmful. Your network pushed a fake news narrative about Syrian rebels being moderate. Show the US, I think, that there is a significant amount of moderate rebels ready to take to the ground in Syria. That led to the rise of ISIS and an international migrant crisis. That's harmful. Your network pushed a fake news narrative about the Aleppo boy being a victim of Assad to propagandize for the invasion of Syria. We shed tears, but there are no tears here. He doesn't cry once. That little boy is in total shock. When his whole family were supporters of Assad and said their son was used as a propaganda tool by the jihadist rebels and by extension, CNN. That's harmful. Some of this anti-journalism, it's insidious. I'll tell you what's insidious. Your network stage managing a protest to manipulate public opinion right after a terrorist attack. That's insidious. Your network burying the truth by reporting the Michigan airport terrorist said something in Arabic when it had been widely reported for hours before that he had shouted Allah Akbar. That's insidious. Your network telling Americans it was illegal to read WikiLeaks. That's insidious. It's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. Your network cutting off guests who even mentioned WikiLeaks. That's insidious. Hillary Clinton's a liar. She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing uh, and Oh no. Your network cutting off guests who mention a link between refugees and terrorism. That's insidious. 30%, 30% of their domestic terrorism cases that they're investigating are from folks who are refugees. It's important not to label all refugees bad people. I, I, that's not why I'm here. But Cup. Your network pretending its own cameraman is a random man on the street anti-Trump protester. That's insidious. One vote equals one vote. What's wrong with that? What's the debate? You definitely feel his passion. There's other people out here who feel the same way. Like you heard this man, very passionate about the idea he doesn't want Hillary to stop. Yeah, Brian, you know I used to live there and I know that guy. That's John Gerkovic. He actually went to Africa with me as a cameraman. Your network's commentator giving debate questions to Hillary Clinton in advance. That's insidious. Your network telling debate focus groups what to say to make Hillary look good. That's insidious. That America already is great, but we are great because we are good. America's great. All right, so I want to ask you, what was it about Hillary Clinton's argument that resonated with you following Donald Trump's defense of the video? She stated that America is already great, um, and I tend to agree with that. Your network running cover for Black Lives Matter by editing statements to turn them into the complete opposite of what was actually said. That's insidious. Y'all burning down shit we need in our community. Take that shit to the suburbs. Burn that shit down. With his sister calling for peace. Don't bring the violence here and the ignorance here. Milwaukee police. Your network calling Milo Yiannopoulos an extremist. That's insidious. Most journalists try to be fair and right. When screw ups happen, corrections are made. Screw ups? Really? 
screw-ups. A Harvard study found that CNN's coverage of Trump was 93% negative. 93%. 13 to 1 negative to positive stories. Is that just a screw-up too? Whoops, we just did 13 negative stories on Trump again. What a coincidence. Oh well, just a screw-up. That's not a screw-up. That's bias. That's not fair and right. That's having an agenda. Look, I'm biased, but I don't claim to be neutral. I don't claim to be an impartial journalist. The fact that you and everyone else at CNN is still claiming to be impartial is an insult to our intelligence. Your boy Jim Acosta whines every week about how Trump and the White House take questions from conservative media. Like, how dare they allow anyone to break CNN's monopoly? Here's a guy who got caught tweeting fake news about Trump not visiting Scalise in hospital. Every chance he gets, he's bitching about Trump. He's not fair. He's not impartial. He's not a journalist. He's an activist. Just be frigging honest about it. You wonder why there's all this hate and resentment towards you. It's not because people hate all journalists. It's because you lie all the time, you push an agenda, and you get caught. But then you have the arrogance to still claim that you're impartial. You have the arrogance to point the finger at us as the reason for you being reviled. You have the arrogance after all this to still claim you have the moral high ground. You don't have the moral high ground. People hate you because you lie about huge things. You lie about things that cause wars and violence on the streets. That's why people hate you. They're not anti-journalism. They're anti-fake news. They're anti-CNN. And you earned that hate because Oh, oh no. What could be more triggering to libtards than my face and this slogan? Get your new premium quality, conservatism is the new counterculture t-shirt right now at InfoWarsStore.com and let the butt hurt commence.